All right, so uh, this video, we're going to show you that uh, how you can uh, get to stream into a group that you do not currently admin. Now, typically, in, in order to stream with, without any kind of special permissions or anything, uh, you need to either be a, be an admin on the page, or I mean, admin as a group, uh, or, you know, if you're trying to broadcast as a business as a page uh, to a group that page has to be an admin well uh, essentially that's that's no longer the case um, what you'd have to do in order to broadcast into into any group one is you need to be part of the group okay so that's one uh, you can just be a normal member and uh, again the the admin of the group would have to allow the app location of, uh, of ecamm live uh, in order to broadcast there and we'll, we'll show you how you can do that. And if you want, uh, feel free to uh, have the admin uh, of that group uh, watch this video because we're going to show you how to do it. All right. So as you can see, like right now, uh, you know, my I have right here, post a scrappy do. Uh, that's my main website. OK, uh, I have only one Facebook group that's on here, and that is because uh, that that page is an admin of this group that I have right here. All right. Now let's go back to my my individual here. So I want to post as myself, and now I'm able to post to other things. Uh, you know, I have uh, these groups right here: the Final Cut Pro, I have the Let's Learn Cricket, and the the Shortcuts a Lot for Scrappy Do Classroom. All of those are my own that I admin. But uh, the Ecamm Live community and the beta. Those are the ones that I do, you know, I'm not the admin to, but the admin of those groups uh, allows you to utilize the software. All right. So I, I can go ahead and demonstrate this real quick here. So, uh, you know, I can I can show you here that in the e Ecamm Live beta uh, right here, uh, you can see that I'm just a normal member, but, you know, they have uh, the admins are here and it's because of these admins. They they did allow the Ecamm app to to function in the group. All right. So let's go ahead and show you how that would work. Uh, so over here, I have not set this up uh, for the Ecamm Live app to function for anybody that's in my group that has uh, Ecamm Live to be able to uh, use. OK, so uh, right over here where the more button, you click on the more button. You go down here where it says edit group settings. And now we're able to go ahead and scroll down to this where it says apps. All right, where it says add apps. If we click on it, uh, let's just scroll down until we find the Ecamm live. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on the add. OK, so click on the add there. And now I've went ahead and added in that app, Ecamm Live for Mac, and this will allow any member of the group that has Ecamm uh, to be able to stream into the group. All right. So uh, that's what you're going to have to have your, you know, if you, if the group that you're trying to broadcast to uh, will not make you an admin, uh, just have them do that in the group, and you will be able to see that in your your drop down menu, uh, assuming that you're a member of the group. All right. So if I were to invite you guys to the scrap, you know, shortcuts sure lot for scrappy do classroom and you were to accept the, accept the invite and you're now a member and you have Ecamm live, you would now be able to stream to the group without any kind of special permissions or making, or me allowing you to be an admin of the group for a day, uh, for example. All right. But, uh, anyways, hopefully that made sense, uh, of, of doing that real quick, simple, uh, just add the app to the group and you should be good to go.